Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army, so good to see you again. In today's video I'm going to be giving you some tips, some tricks for cliffs. So if that sounds interesting, keep on watching. I'm going to give you um, of course tips like I said, mini little speed builds, advice, and teensy little bit of decorating inspo so you can kind of like upgrade your cliffs and if you're not sure how to build cliffs or you're just kind of stuck then maybe this will help you out. So my first tip and my biggest, bestest tip if you're going to take away anything from this video is to round your edges. I personally do not like the look of the jaggedy pointed edges of the cliffs when you first build them. I prefer them to be rounded. I think it looks way more natural and uh, prettier. If you like the pointy edges, more power to you, but I personally think that it looks better rounded. Next, I'm just going to quickly touch on the actual construction of the cliffs. Um, cliffs need to have at least one space all around them in order to build upwards. So um, if you want your third topmost level to be three by three, your second level is going to have to be five by five. And then the easiest way to destroy cliffs is in rows. So just like go row by row and destroy because it's just kind of part of playing this game and experimenting with designing and cliff building and terraforming. You know, it's just you gotta experiment, you gotta try stuff, you gotta destroy, do it over again. Just in this video I did so much cliff destroying and rebuilding so you might as well uh, do it efficiently. Also waterfalls. Waterfalls are a great feature to use. It's really good for breaking up like all this green on your island, you know? The island's kind of too green so the blue is a nice contrast. I definitely utilize them. I think they make a great focal point for, cl for cliffs as well. So definitely, you know, just toss a few waterfalls in there. It'll look great. Next, I want to talk about how to upgrade a cliff you already have built if you want to upgrade it like that. So I see this kind of cliff a lot, just like really simple rectangle cliff and not a big fan, honestly, not a big fan. And if you want to change it, then this is how I would personally change it. I'm just going around and adding some like random cliffs all around and rounding it off. It, it's honestly not that complicated. And then for the decorating bit, you know, that kind of elevates it and uh, add a tree. I always am a big tree advocator. Trees are good, good for decorating and just add some like random stuff, flowers and stuff. It doesn't have to be complicated because you got to remember cliffs in real life are random. They're asymmetrical, you know, they have random shapes. It looks more natural like that. So Here's what it looks like. I think it looks a lot better than what it was before. I don't know about you. Um, really not that hard and we have a pretty simple basic waterfall with a little pond at the bottom as well to have kind of like a little eye-catching feature. So yeah, that's how it came out. My next little golden nugget of advice is to do whatever you want. And that applies to not only life, but this game and also cliffs. Right here, what I am building, I had no plan, no ideas. I was just like, I'm just gonna build some cliffs and uh, just kind of wing it. Because with cliffs, you can honestly get away with just winging it. You can like just kind of build whatever. And as long as you kind of just like round off the edges and make it like a decent meaty shape, then it, it usually turns out pretty good. So here I wanted to have um, like a big base and then I wanted to have just like a little teeny area up top. So what I did is I just built, you know, a lot of cliffs kind of just made it random and then rounded all the edges and then went to build that top part. And then of course I do add some more waterfalls right here. So I will touch on that a little bit more because this is also a decent tip. At the top I add a little skinny waterfall and then right here I add, well, I accidentally put a cliff and then I add another waterfall connecting it and then I expand it so that you have like you know two blocks of waterfall at the bottom there and I think that's a really good thing to do is like mix up the shapes of your waterfalls on your cliffs because that makes it also really cute so having like the little skinny one flow into a thicker one or having like multiple little skinny ones or like even a thick one flowing into a small one I've never done that before but hey you could try it um, Definitely try to like mix up your shapes and your sizes everywhere, you know, that just makes it look more natural. And then I'm just finishing up the decorating here, adding some custom designs, which are all in the description, by the way, if you want to check out the custom designs that I use. And here's the finished product. Came out pretty cute. Next up, this is like an actual tutorial, so you're welcome. <laughs> I like to call this 
the wrench waterfall because it kind of looks like a wrench shape like the head of it okay so you got to start off by making a five by five area and then you want to put uh, waterfalls just like this put um, a thick one at the front and then that little skinny one towards the back and then what you're gonna do next is add a three by three area smack dab in the middle you know it, that's the only place it can fit so you can't really mess up this part and then you're gonna climb up top and you're gonna add some more waterfalls so put one to connect to the front waterfall and to the back waterfall just like that and then connect them in the middle and then go ahead and round off all of your edges except for uh, that little piece that sticks out that you can't even I don't think you could round that piece off what I like to do is I like to connect the rivers for like make little rivers from the waterfall and then connect them all just like this you know you, you see what I'm doing I'm bad at explaining things but I think it makes it look really cute so this is what it looks like. Um, you can play with the river waterfall on the bottom um, and you can play with a decorated cover you want, but I will show you how I decorate. For decorating when you don't really have that much space to work with, like these cliffs, um, some really good item recommendations are flowers, of course, nice and simple, very pretty, all on their own, custom designs, of course, add little flowers, little rocks, whatever you got, bushes, I mean, I don't really use bushes that much, but they could be cute. Um, little lights like that, like the uh, garden lantern that I use there. Weeds as well, if you want to just kind of take up those empty tiles next to flowers so they don't spread. And if you don't have like an empty slot for another empty custom design like me. <laughs> and then also fences. You can just put like little pieces of fences everywhere and it'll look really cute. So this is what it looks like. And Tipper graced us with uh, sitting in the chair, which is really cute. So you can leave the cliffs like this and just have it be a standalone thing, but I'll show you another part of my island where I have it just like this and I actually have it extend further back and I'll show you how it connects to some more cliffs. So this is next to Meringue and Tia's cafe on my island and as you can see it kind of like extends back a little bit. I don't have all the cliffs figured out yet, um, but yeah at the bottom also the waterfalls connect into a bigger river so you could also do that if you've got a river nearby. Hopefully this also gives you another idea of how else you could utilize these cliffs. That's gonna be it from me today you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration maybe. Maybe you're inspired to change something up on your island. I hope so. Let me know if you enjoyed this. I'm totally down to make a part two maybe with some more examples, some more tutorial style building. Let me know down below or give the video a like so I know that you're interested in that. I will see you over in the discord and on twitter and instagram and I will see you in the next one.